The consultative meeting was a moment for stakeholders to reflect on the causes of student unrest, the impact, available policies and legal provisions to consider when addressing them. The meeting was convened after some parents, students and other stakeholders raised concern. In private universities. Now, Education Cabinet Secretary Jacob Kaimene says most of the causes for strikes are justified, while some are not, adding that there is need to address the issues raised to avoid exposing students to risk and delay completion of courses. A lot of confidence in you people, and therefore I believe our deliberations today will provide a sustainable strategy in resolving student unrest. According to university student leaders, routes are caused by arbitrary increase of fees, offering of courses not approved by professional bodies, poor accommodation, delayed disbursement of loans by help, and incompetent teaching staff with poor public relations. The management of institutions of higher learning, however, think otherwise, saying drug abuse, incitement, and occultism are some of the probable causes of unrest. So somebody wanted to be a president of the chair. And because they were disqualified, then go on strike. Surely, if there's a reason for disqualification, why should people go on strike? And then they were saying that you, the university should stop disciplinary proceedings on the examination irregularities. How? Vice chancellors have proposed a number of recommendations, among them the introduction of a code of conduct and student participation in key decision making organs. The strikes are taking place because of inadequate capacity by students on matters of governance or matters of leadership as well as staff. Private universities were also here to provide sustainable strategies which public universities can adopt so as to curb the escalation of the student unrest. To address the issue of student unrest, university vice chancellors have decided that they will use their social media platforms such as Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter, where university students can use to address their grievances. Now, however, university students will have to wait for one month to know whether this recommendation will be implemented or not. For Abro Africa TV, I'm Brenda Zeda.